2015 was a fairly big year for strategy games, with games like StarCraft II, Legacy of the Void, Total War Attila, Galactic Civilizations III, Active Aggression, Civilization Beyond Earth, but really it's important to note that among all of these great games that come out, such as Homeworld Remastered and Age of Empires II HD Edition, we have of course Grey Goo, an underrated masterpiece that I feel like has been forgotten to a lot of gamers actually when this game first came out and I think it should be revisited again. Now Grey Goo currently sits at a pretty mixed ranking at about 68% out of 2154 user reviews but many people complaining that it was generic and didn't really have a lot going for it. Personally for me, we're gonna see getting down from the nitty gritty of how this game is played, we'll, we'll see if this uh, statement holds true for 2020. Now I do have, and I'll warn you this, I'm a bit of an expert with about 46 hours into this game. Now if 46 hours isn't enough, then unfortunately I can't really direct you to any other pro Grey Goose streamers because the game is currently played with a whopping with a whopping 24 hour peak of 53 players. So if you can find one of these 53 people, I'll happily bring him along too. So as you can see, just jumping into this, Grey Goo is fantastic looking, though the message of the day is currently unavailable. There are no more days for Grey Goo anymore. And we can see here that we've got ourselves single player, multiplayer, all that good shit, all that junk. We're gonna go into multiplayer, and here we can show off really what um, the game aspires to be, a kind of a four player, or a four-way sort of war between all these different factions. We got ourselves humans, beta, goo, shroud. They range from weirdness, so beta and humans are the most understandable to um, play around with, whereas goo and shroud have a little bit more game mechanics associated with them. We'll play as the goo, and then, you know what, I won't explain anything. I think you guys can just, by looking at the goo, understand what's going on. There's no recent updates. Nobody's played this game since the dinosaurs, so let's go ahead and do a custom, I think, because doing some... Oh, an endorsed map. If this is endorsed, I will uh, I will play it. There's not a lot of options here, but we'll, we'll create a match nonetheless. And I will pick this as my starting location. There we go. Let's crank up the AI to insane levels, and we'll see if my skills can save me in this one. Alright, let's go. Oh, I cannot launch. Why? Alright, I think multiplayer, I can't do this. Oh, you're not, you're not allowed to make custom games. We, should, we gotta go to single player, go into skirmish, and there we go. A canyon again, endorsed map. A little bit strange, I'll admit. I mean, usually I'm just into using just the multiplayer matchmaking. It doesn't really matter. Let's go in the beta, and here we go. Well, so you weren't expecting this out of your RTS game, but this is our base. And we have to move him. We have to feed our mama. And this is our little scout here. His name is a drover. He's kind of cute. He looks like a camera with four, um four little tendrils sticking out we're gonna move we're gonna move with him and you're gonna suck up all that rich nutrients that basically how it goes here we gotta tell our little base here to suck up as much of this as possible becoming thick and the thicker she becomes the more bases I can build as you can see that's kind of how the um, expansion process works this is for small units this is for large units this is for the mamas and then I can combine them into a super mama which you do not want to see. It's quite disgusting. I don't know how the insane AI is going to handle this. Oh, 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 but I'm going to sneeze on him. I'm going to sneeze on him. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like it when I sneeze on him. But I'm going to uh, chew. A chew. A chew. Not going to lie. These starting units are a little bit too weak for my fancy. Uh, the Drover, though, is like a shotgun. And he gets more and more powerful as you get closer. So I got to sneeze on you. I've, I've really got to do it. Oh, yeah, okay, a chew. Getting melted. Alright, let's see. Uh, nothing substantial yet. We want to get to the next tier. Want to expand. Then we can go. Well, we'll probably go right over here, actually. There was a tactic where you can kind of cycle between these different phases here. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm gonna get shot. Gotta get quick on this one. Come on, come on. And remember, the AI can see me. He is an insane AI. I don't trust it. Oh my god, we're almost ready. Oh yes, baby. More of myself. 
I gotta lie, this is extremely dangerous though. We're expanding, the AI is moving out trying to find me and my babies. The only thing I can think about is getting thick. Come on, get me thick. Where are we going? Oh, more, more population. I'll be able to build a queue this time. A small little guy, either building drovers, striders, radiants, or tempests. Someone is playing War Thunder, so he obviously has no taste. Come on, build me the queue. Oh, you see that? See that? Bad boy. Bad boy coming through. Now, instead of building something, we could actually just roll up to this guy and say, Ayo, what up? Let's do that. Ayo, what up? See that? He thinks he can stop me. But no, he can't. He cannot. Yum, 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 yum. This is worst fate than even death, honestly, being in alive by my barracks. Come over here. Hey, come over here. Where are you? Where are you going? Where are you going? Oh yeah! Oh yeah! That's mine now. Thank you very much. Come again. All right, and now I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. Watch this! Watch this! Watch this! Watch this! Expert, expert level place. Look, he ran into the bush! What a dumbass! Now I've got more drovers, and my horde expands. Hmm, trying to think where to put him. Here would be the best, actually. Expansions are required. Probably would be best if we got some scouts here. Scouts can be put on various areas. They're called Radiance. And they can climb cliffs. And that's actually kind of the best thing about this game. The fact that your infantry as the goo can climb cliffs is actually amazing. Oh, I thought they could climb cliffs. I was wrong. I was wrong. Oh no, there's an upgrade that makes them stuffed. Uh, it makes sense now. Come on, boys. I believe in you. We need to tech up fast. We need one of our mamas to tech up, and then we can get the radiant stuff. Give them stealth. I like to get more striders just because it's a good idea. I've got a lot of beep boops in my army. I've got like a lot of beep boops. I've got all these little gray goo nanobots here. Just chilling. Having a fun old time. I'm, I'm just waiting for my prey to come by. Don't mind me. Some nice dubstep going on in the background. I hope this does not demonetize my video because if it does, I swear to God, Petroglyph. I know Petroglyph made this game. They are the creators of a lot of um, RTS games that in recent times have been seen as a pretty half baked. I'm mean, not gonna lie, all things considered. I would like to take a look at those other games as well because they're interesting to say the list. Looking at Petroglyph's um, gameography, yeah, that's, that's what it's called. It's always interesting to see. Go ahead and move right there. We've got another guy who wants to, to die, basically. I don't know why so many units want to die, but it seems like they're prerogative. Let's get a tech research. So we can get... Uh, I don't know what to get. Now I'm... Mm, yeah, Radiance, target aircraft, I like that. We should get an upgrade for the Drovers, but I think the only thing we need from Drovers is more Drovers. Oh my god! Back! The walls of Christendom are being invaded by the Barbarians!
We need to move forward. This was the only way. Shit, 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 we gotta back off, we gotta back off, we gotta back off. You see them? There's too many of them! There's too many of them, damn it! Eat them! Eat them all! Oh god. I will meet you in the fields of battle, brother. I, me as well, brother. The mama goose, they march out. Oh no! Cheating! Cheating! It's probably the insane AI, that's why their damages are all bonked up. Get up the wall! Get up the wall quick! Get out of there! Get out of there, damn it! Alright, the only way for us to survive now is with a nomadic existence. Now here's the thing, we don't need to stay in one of these spots. It's just more convenient to do so, but we don't need to stay there. What the fuck? I don't know what the squall is, but that must be a new unit that came with the DLC. Yeah, they actually made DLC for this game, believe it or not. Ah, no, my goo! Give me back my children! Alright, let's get out of here. Mission accomplished. Oh, oh, wait, wait, I should wait. Yeah, okay, I'm good now. I don't know where to go, that's the, that's the problem. Problem is that we, we lost the first battle and now we have nowhere to go. Well, now there's four of us now, so let's, let's all move. Who's gonna get the orange? Who's gonna get the orange? Yeah, yummy. And no, you can't stack them, unfortunately. So this one, he's not gonna get it. Actually, why doesn't he get it, though? Alright, now he got it. I think it's like the first one, first serve type basis. Run! Into the single commando, he will destroy us all. Let's get out of here, my friend. My brother. Oh, Alright, I gotta help him. Alright, now we migrate. Quick, my grits. Oh my, mine got sneeze, sneeze like you've never sneezed before. Ah, run! This is like Prince of Egypt all over. Oh, they can't see me. They can't see me. Ah! Shall we go out in one blaze of glory? Yes, brother. We go out in one blaze of glory. Charge! 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 Oh my god! As you can see, the insane AI is quite insane. That's kind of the shenaniganry you can get up to with the shroud. They're really like a lot of fun to say, uh, well not the shroud, the goo. They're a lot of fun to say at least, like, it's a shroud like a dummy. But there we go, we got ourselves one of four factions there and Hey, if you want to see yourself playing as the goo, trying to beat the insane AI with inc insanely increased unit health, reduced cost and build times, and full map visibility, 
You could bet your ass you could do that. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Let me know if you want to see more from this, and bye-bye. I will uh, see you then.